Toastmasters and fellow Toastmasters, I'm excited to share my first icebreaker speech here. Actually, I have been waiting for this day like six months, I guess. Mm -hmm. well, yes, finally I'm on this stage. And um, um, before I start my speech, I would like to ask a question. Uh, when did you realize in your life that it's your grown-up time and you have so many responsibilities on your life? So, um, and the changes in your life. So I have started my journey. Um, uh, yes, um, that changes is inevitable part of our life, um, and uh, I have realized that. Um, and I'm going to share my past and the present to compare uh, who I am now, staying on the stage in front of you. Uh, so before, uh, in the past, I aspired to be chemist um, and I was in love from conducting experiments. But uh, now, in, in the present, I realized that um, I have chosen a different path and that I do love it. Um, I will reveal it about it shortly, later. Okay, next. Uh, before I was super active volunteer, you know, the fellowship of community. Uh, I think, you know, the ICIC organization, I was a part of this organization. Um, so I had so many incredible experiences meeting all these people. Uh, but uh, in the present, I changed my priorities and uh, now I change my prayer to my family and I try to spend more time with my family uh, and maybe my values all, always have been changed, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, um, moving, uh, the next topic is moving. Uh, so um, I saw that before that moving it's a, a daunting like, prospect of my life. But now I realize that this is key moment when I decide to move from Atrao to Almaty here. So I've been living here for two years and everything has been changed starting from my career to my surroundings, as you can see. Yeah. Of course, challenges, we cannot grieve. Uh, I mean, our lives is full of challenges. So um, I remember this time, it's like three to, I think it's three years, yes. I have, um, like issues with my health, also with my even self-acceptance, self-esteem. I didn't accept myself uh, and I struggled with this uh, like for a longer time. Uh, however, um, I came to realization that um, actually this was also the best part of my life. Can you switch the next one? Because, uh, next. Um, I met, um, yes. I met so many people in Europe, I had exchange in Europe, in Slovakia, and the, even though I had this issue with my uh, desire, uh, yes, but uh, people surrounding always supported me, so that's why I feel grateful for this experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, in my, uh, okay, uh, like, Two years or three years ago, I thought that I didn't believe myself. I thought, okay, I'm the young girl, I cannot do anything. But then I realized that uh, it seems that I can uh, even open my own school and my business. So I launched some school, I mean English school, yes. And you, as you can see here, it's my family. So family always supported me, any crazy idea that I have in my life. So that's why who my family member trying to do this renovation in this uh, room. So yeah, I'm so grateful for family. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, also, I felt uh, doubted in my abilities that I can work in my in the team. So, uh, but turn out that no, I can work in team, even create a team. So I have this team. Uh, Yes, I guess with all these people and we launched a social project in Atrao and we helped a lot of guests with uh, career questions. So yeah, it was a good event uh, with all these people. Um, this is a key part because I'm staying here and performing and actually this is my one of the, my fear to perform in, in front of people. Uh, so before I thought that I cannot, uh, I, I would not be able to talk to people, to share my, my ideas. 
Um, uh, then, again, yes, and when you have experience, when you have um, practicing, yes, uh, you, you understand that this is what you like, actually. So I like uh, talking to people, performing, even though I feel now physically stressed, of course, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, uh, even though I understand that this is almost who my experience connects with, connecting people and the performing and sharing and so on. Ah, yes, there is no photo, yeah, <laughs> I just had this big, but I think girls now understand me, maybe. Uh, before, um, yes, in my past I had experience with unrequited love, I think this word correct, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, and I thought, okay, it's a disaster, but now in present I realized it was the best experience in the relationship, because I understand my, um, what I want, yes, I was grateful for all this um, past yes, relationship that I had uh, because it taught me to love myself, to respect and uh, to understand even my emotions that I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is also part of my life. <laughs> yes. um, and uh, to just to conclude, I would say that uh, this is my career. Um, as you can see in the picture, can you guess which one is more connected to my career? Which picture? I mean, which third one? Third third one. Third, third. Okay, fourth. okay, fourth. fourth, maybe. Okay, thank you. So actually, this is all about me. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm doing a lot of things now. Um, so that's why I'm. Um, um, that's why I'm saying that this is being different um, and the being unique. It's just like you know, part of me because before I didn't accept myself. Like, um, like I, I do. I can do projects. I can do consultations. I can do some meetings and. Uh, talking with people, but who I am in, in reality. Then I accept myself that um, uniqueness and the striving for person, personal growth is valuable aspect for me, which means I'm always uh, like growing, you know, growing my skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I just understand that I am different, yes. I can do different things, and being different is totally fine for me. <laughs> yes, so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. this is